Well, good morning. Look at how tall these things have gotten. These things, these sunflowers. Look how amazing they are. here. So today, I think we're going to be working on attaching the gates. Not abandoned, but it's really well anchored. Something over here. It's an old fence. A reused fence, recycled fence, I should say. But there's still 13, 13 strands. Gotta be bent on each line. The knots have to be taken out. Side of the corners and then the inside everywhere else down to this end. Now, ideally, after the gates get up today, I'll be working on putting down some grass seed, smoothing areas, and get some, some seed. I've been trying to record in various parts of the day. It's morning right now. Let's see where we're getting the sun, where we aren't getting sun. So, we had to splice every single section of fence. Um, no, no, we didn't have to splice the first piece. But we had to splice this one. And, no, we did have to splice it all. And we had to splice this one here. Because that whole roll of brand new fence was not long enough to go all the way. So luckily we had a piece. Uh, we spliced in, again, all those wires. All the way down. And of course it's just like the last and feet, and of course again, every wire is crimped, still looks 
looks like there are some poking out. I tightened up a little bit, but that strut's tight. As you saw yesterday, how we had the straps across here. And of course, this section is now done. Just get them up on this one. A lot of work. I think when we do the next fences, we're just gonna get the. They're a dollar a piece. We need 13 of them, but that dollar would save us the time of twisting and stuff like that. I think it's definitely worth the investment and time and the ease, of, the ease of tightening it again in the future. There you go. Though it is up. Is our first fence that I've ever put up like this. First fence any of us have ever put up like this. This is of course a quarter acre, about a quarter acre that we have cleared as you watch the videos. And now the fence is up. We are one step closer to getting mom's pony on board. We'll be clearing the along the fence line that way, making both a fire break and access trail, like we have over here. Walk back on the outside of the fence. Of course, this trail connects up with all the other trails on the property, so that you can either go out uh, the front trails, See, let me go on that side here. Haven't quite cleared it completely along the fence line down there, but work in progress. Get the bush hog working, and I'll make quick work of that. So, this is basically um, a lot of the smaller trees and brush that came out of the pasture as we cleared it. And once we're finished with the pasture, we'll come in through here and probably clean this up and reclaim this wood after the leaves fall off of it. We'll definitely use whatever sticks and stuff. We can grind that up in the chipper shredder, take it to the chipper shredder. But we're also creating a natural fence line for our deer and stuff like that. Mines will grow over the sticks after the leaves are gone. see how long that stays there. Probably not long at all. I'm coming into the back side of the dirt pile. Or there we go, on the corner of the fence line. So yeah, this is a quarter acre right here. Need a little bit more. Like I said, see where the sun is. There's times. Oh, that was my bad. But yeah, hey, thanks for watching. Give you some more progress once the uh, gates are up. Easy, cool feet and bench. I'll leave this in here, maybe, or transfer it. for watching.